La cápsula Dragon de SpaceX ha logrado un hecho histórico al llevar a cabo la primera misión tripulada que orbita la Tierra pasando por ambos polos. La misión, denominada Frams 2, despegó desde el Centro Espacial Kennedy en Florida y presenta una ruta circular de 90 grados, permitiendo la captura de imágenes inéditas de las regiones polares desde el espacio. A bordo de la cápsula viajan cuatro tripulantes, el empresario estadounidense Chung Wang, la cineasta noruega Jackney Mikkelsen, la científica alemana Rabae Rowe y el explorador polar australiano Eric Phillips. Las primeras imágenes transmitidas por la tripulación muestran impresionantes paisajes helados desde una altitud de entre 425 y 450 kilómetros. Esta inédita órbita civil no solo ofrece vistas visualmente impactantes, sino que también tendrá aplicaciones importantes en estudios climáticos y científicos, proporcionando una nueva perspectiva sobre el planeta. Agencia Informativa de México. Kanchaka. Oh, I'm nice. Lots of volcanoes, huh? Yeah. Lots of salmon below. Photograph. Sean, that is fantastic. <laughs> Video. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah. yeah. This is the uh, entire peninsula is uh, full of uh, volcanoes. Much like uh, Yellowstone in the U.S. Oh, yeah. This was discovered in 1940s. Very good looking breakfast for us. Yeah. And this is our zero G indicator, and his name is Tyler. Tyler, <laughs> yes. Let, let, let's 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 make Tyler <laughs> facing toward us. Oh yes. Make sure Tyler does his sleep survey. So I think we just flew over the North Pole and now we enter the shadow of the Earth. It didn't open Kubla yesterday for smoother adoption of the uh, microgravity but today after breakfast we plan to open the cupola for the first time Eric say hi <laughs> I can't explain how fun microgravity is Really? Yeah. Isn't it good? The best thing. <laughs> like it looks amazing in the videos when you see astronauts in space, yeah. but it doesn't really reflect so the joy that it brings. It's amazing. Your food wants you to eat it. <laughs> I mean, check this out. Oh, <laughs> fog, projectile. How did you How did you sleep last night? I slept really good. Well. It was yeah, so cozy. Well. I heard that you don't sleep so well in space, but I think we all slept extremely well. Yeah. Yeah, Me too. Kind of Very good. Around. Yeah. Yeah. It was Before, nice and soft. Very soft. Yeah. The first a few hours are a little bit weird, and but yeah. uh, after sleeping, I feel everything's all good. I My feel fresh. like you just gotta get used to like not really having control. <laughs> If you let go of stuff, you'll just float wherever. Yeah. I felt that if I had my head just touching something, um, that little anchoring feeling, doesn't matter what it was, uh -huh. and that's, that, that's why I understand yeah. people strap a pillow to their head. And it worked really well. When I was just free floating, it's like, this is weird. Because very rarely are you in bed and you feel like you're in that weightlessness. Mm -hmm. So I think even if it's something hard like that, just against my head, I felt I slept much better. Eric's head also gets velcro to the velcro. Uh -huh. so I think he has an advantage. <laughs> Let me find some velcro. The interesting thing is flying in polar orbits is uh, I think 60 or 70 percent of the time when I look, randomly look out a window, I see white. Yes, uh, yeah. I've seen. Yes. I, I don't think so uh, astronauts on the ISS uh, have this kind of view. And it's so epic because it's uh, another kind of desert, so it just goes on and uh, on and on, yeah. all the white. Yeah.
That's why this really is exploratory, right? Uh -huh. Like right now. It's incredible. Damn. I mean, every time you look out there, you've got ice and snow. I love it. This is my home. Oh no, it's dark now. Yeah, it's dark. Okay, let's. This is not easy to drink. Oh, this is good.